Hi everyone! Welcome to our video. So for today's discussion, I will discuss about our topic, which is all about inverse function. Before we will start our discussion, let me ask you, do you know inverse function? If not, then let me discuss it for you. Inverse function is a function that reverses another function. In simple words, x and y coordinates will be interchanged of the given set. That is why x, y will become yx. As you can see, the x and y are interchanged and it became yx. In solving the inverse function, the following steps can be followed. First step, if the given is fx, then replace it with y. If the given is y, just simply copy it. Second step, substitute x with y and y with x, or in simple words, just interchange them. Third step, express y as a function of x and simplify. Fourth step, denote the inverse as gx. Your final answer should be written together with gx in order for us to know that that is the answer for the inverse function. Fifth step, we can apply the composition of functions in checking our final answer for us to know that is the correct answer. In checking our answers, use the composition of functions. The answer of both sides should be x. If your answer includes a number, then recheck your answer or solve everything again. Let's start off with a simple exercise to have an idea on how to do basic inverse function. Example number 1. m is equals to negative 12, negative 1, 3, 4, 7, negative 9, 10, and 15. Just interchange the numbers so that the answers will be m negative 1 is equals to negative 1, negative 12, 4, 3, negative 9, 7, 15, and 10. The negative 1 above the letter m denotes that the answer is an inverse function. Example number 2. b is equals to 0, negative 2, 2, 5, 6, 8, 12, and 14. Simply interchange the numbers. Remember the negative 1 above the letter b, negative 1, is equals to negative 2, 0, 5, 2, 8, 6, 14, and 12. So now, we are done doing solving the basics, and we already got an idea. So the next examples, we will be using numbers already, and we are going to apply the steps given in the previous slides. It's gonna be a little complicated, but don't be scared, I'm here to help you. Let's start off with an easy example. Example number 1, fx is equal to 28x. Replace first fx to y, then it will become y is equal to 28x. Interchange y and x, so it will become x is equal to 28y. Divide 28 in both sides so that we can eliminate 28 in the right side. And only y will remain by cancelling. x over 28 is equal to 28y over 28. Cancel both 28 in the right side since they are the same. The final answer will be x over 28 is equals to y. Write gx instead of y so it will become gx is equals to x over 28. Let's check our answer by using the composition of functions to know whether our answer is correct. Substitute the answer to the x of the question. x circle g denotes that it's a composition of function f circle g x is equals to 28 x over 28 as we can see we can cancel 28 so we will cancel it so the remaining is only x so our the answer which is x over 28 is correct let's check again our answer by substituting our question in x in our answer g circle f x is equals to x over 28 substitute g circle f x is equals to 28 x over 28 then cancel 28 then our remaining is x g circle f x is equals to x so our answer x over 28 is correct example number two y is equals to 4x squared minus 3 since the given is not f x so just copy y interchange y and x remember only the letter x and y will be interchanged not including the coefficient in degree the 3 will be transferred to the other side. The 3 will become positive since we change their place. It will become x plus 3 is equal to 4y squared. Then, divide both sides with 4 and cancel the numbers that are the same. So, cancel 4. x plus 3 over 4 is equal to 4y squared over 4. Cancel 4. 
and it will become x plus t over 4 equals to y squared. As we notice, there is still an exponent left in y, so we have to eliminate it by squaring both sides. Square root of x plus 3 over 4 is equals to square root of y squared. Cancel square root and squared. After canceling, we just can't simplify the left side even by just looking at it. So what is left is this. Square root of x plus 3 over 4 is equals to y. After that, replace y as gx and that will be the final answer. gx is equals to square root of x plus 3 over 4. So, let's try to check using the composition of function. Substitute the answer which is square root of x plus 3 over 4 to the x of equation. So, the result will be f circle g x is equals to 4 square root of x plus 3 over 4 squared minus 3. Observe, is there anything we can cancel? If yes, then you're correct. We will cancel 4. So, the remaining answer will be f circle g x is equals to square root of x plus 3 squared minus 3. In order for us to eliminate the 2 squared, we will cancel the square root and the 2 squared. So the remaining is f circle g x is equals to x plus 3 minus 3. Since the answer for 3 minus 3 is 0, automatically the final answer is x. So our answer is correct f circle g x is equals to x. After that, we will check again if our answer will be x when we will substitute the given equation to the answer, which is g x is equals to square root of x plus 3 over 4. g circle f x square root x plus 3 over 4. Substitute it from what we see. There is something that can be cancelled, right? which is negative 3 and positive 3 and the 2, 4. After cancelling, remaining will be square root of x squared. In order to have an answer of x only, cancel the square root and the exponent. It's x, so our answer is correct. g circle f x is equals to x. Example number 3. f x is equals to 3 x over 4 minus 6. First, change fx to y, then exchange y and x is equals to y is equals to 3x over 4 minus 6. x is equals to 3y over 4 minus 6. After that, transpose negative 6 to the left. Negative 6 will be positive since you change its place x plus 6 is equals to 3y over 4. After that, we will multiply each side with 4. Since 4 is the denominator in the right side, then multiply 4 in the left side to 6 and x. Also, don't forget to cancel both in the right side. Then the remaining will be 4x plus 24 is equals to 3y. Then divide both sides. 4x plus 24 over 3 is equals to 3y over 3. The remaining will be the answer but not to forget to replace y to gx. Final answer will be gx is equals to 4x plus 24 over 3. Let's check. Substitute the answer to the x of the question. f circle gx is equals to 3 over 4x minus 6. F, cir F circle gx is equals to 3 over 4 times 4x plus 24 over 3 minus 6. Cancel 4 and 3 and don't forget to divide 24 by 4 since it can be divided. The remaining is F circle gx is equals to x plus 6 minus 6. Since 6 minus 6 is 0, so automatically the answer is x, and that is correct. Let's check again. Substitute the question to the x of the answer. g circle f x is equals to 4 times 3 over 4 x minus 6 plus 24 over 3. After that, multiply 4 with negative 6 first, and then cancel out 4. 
Bring down the rest and remember, negative 24, the answer of 4 times negative 6. Cancel out 3, negative 24, and positive 24. The remaining is the answer. G circle F, X is equals to X. Example number 4. F, X is equals to 7, X plus 5 over 2. Change F, X to Y, then interchange X and Y. Y is equals to 7x plus 5 over 2. Interchange x is equals to 7y plus 5 over 2. In order for our 5 to be transferred to the other side, we have to eliminate the denominator of 2 by multiplying both sides with 2. Then cancel 2 at the right side and multiply 2 from the left side to x. So the answer for that is 2x is equals to 7y plus 5. Transpose 5 to the left, it will be negative 5 since you transferred it. 2x minus 5 is equals to 7y. Divide both sides with 7, then cancel 7. The remaining is the answer, and don't forget about replacing y to gx. gx is equals to 2x minus 5 over 7. Let's check. Substitute our final answer to the given equation. F circle G X is equal to 7 times 2X minus 5 over 7 plus 5 over 2. Cancel 7. So the remaining is F circle G X is equal to 2X minus 5 plus 5 over 2. After that, cancel negative 5 and positive 5 since their answer is 0. The remaining is f circle g x is equals to 2x over 2. Then cancel it. 2x over 2. The correct answer is f circle g x is equals to x. Let's check again. Substitute. g circle f x is equals to 2 times 7 x plus 5 over 2 minus 5 over 7 we notice that we can cancel something and if you wonder if it's 2 then you're correct the remaining is g circle f x is equals to 7 x plus 5 minus 5 over 7 cancel positive 5 and negative 5 g circle f x is equals to 7 x plus 5 minus 5 Cancel over 7. So the remaining is G circle F X is equal to 7 X over 7. We can cancel 7 so we will cancel it. So the remaining is X. So it's correct. Example number 5. F X is equal to negative 5 X plus 4. Convert F X to Y and, and interchange X and Y. So it will become X is equal to negative 5 X plus 4. After that, transfer 4 to the left, so it will become negative 4. x minus 4 is equal to negative 5y. To eliminate negative 5, divide both sides by negative 5, and cancel numbers that have the same sign numbers. So the result is negative 4x over negative 5 is equal to y. Don't forget gx gx is equals to x minus 4 over 5. Now, let's try to find out if our answer is correct by checking. Substitute our answer to our given question. f circle g x is equals to negative 5 times x minus 4 over 5 plus 4. From what we can see, we can cancel negative 5, so we will cancel it. And the remaining is f circle g x is equals to x minus 4 plus 4. Notice that we can also cancel negative 4 and positive 4, so we will cancel it too. The remaining is x, so our answer is correct. Now, let's try checking it by another method. Substitute our given to our answer. g circle f x is equal to negative 5 x plus 4 minus 4 over 5 x. From what we see, we can cancel negative 5, positive 4, and negative 4. So we will cancel them. So automatically, our remaining is x. So our answer is correct. 
So, our discussion will end here and that's all for now. I hope you understand something from our video on how to solve inverse function. Thank you and good luck.